And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Two Point Hospital. All right, I'm going to pause it. And we're going to edit. And we're going to try to move this. This wait. We're going to move this baby over here. And we're going to add rooms. We're going to add space. I want all of the space. Let's remove that. So one, two, three. I want to kind of get a little bit in there. And then the door. Let's put the door right there. I definitely want another screen in here, but I just don't know where to put it. Um, that's just an unfortunate place for that door. We can put it over here. No, we can't put it over there. How about let's put the nurse's station like in the middle of the room. Let's put the door right there. Locker. I mean, it doesn't really have anywhere to go so i'm going to take it out screen many screens Really, we can put a, oh, we can put a bed right there. Beautiful. Because that screen is pointing this way. So it means that frees that up. Wall monitor. Well, that'll be a little tougher. I'd like to put those by the nurse's station, but we're going to put a couple back here. Okay. That's the new ward. And that probably booted out. Haha, <laughs> yep. Oh. Okay. So everybody's now going over here. And the new update actually, you know, distributes them on the, as far as the screens go, it helps, it helps them on the screen. So, uh, we also need some heat in here. A little bit of warmth never hurt anybody. Now for the ward emergency. Should be able to accept this. I would like to copy this room. No, I guess not. Staff room. Staff room. Let's put this over here. Oh, take this away. Uh, 
Drinks machine. Let's put a bin in here. Radiator. And a little bit of entertainment. Coffee maker. Sweet dispenser. We put a sunflower in here just for funsies. That radiator is a really, that's an awful place for that thing. There we go. Staff promotion. Research. Oh, look at that. Yeah, let's uh, send patient home for now. Ward emergency. Yes, bring them in. And let's look at our system here. Fracture ward, hurdy leg. Treatment ward, jazz hands. Yeah, look at 19 people waiting. Um, that's a problem. Indeed, that is a problem. Is this my janitor? Oh, no. Health low. Your diagnostic certainty is that high? Let's. You're going to go into the ward. Okay, where did all the people come from? Oh, they came from over here. No, where are you going? No! Right when the, right when they go on break. Oh, the humanity. Yeah, as you can see now they, they sort of distribute themselves amongst all of the different curtains, which is really nice because usually they kind of stacked up. Now this guy's going on break. I really need to work on staggering these guys' breaks. Like, really, really, really need to work on that. Okay, your energy is literally maxed now. So can you return to work? Please? What are you doing? Uh, where'd my other ward ward dude do? There it is. Dry those hands. So this guy's a fast learner. Hopefully, you can train these guys up. Okay, we this ward. You need to be sent home. We don't have a fracture ward yet. Okay, we got 20. Oof, that hurts. Um, what is that sound effect? Um, yeah, we're going to need another GP's office. Let's see what we have for doctors here. Charming. Okay, let's hire this person. We're gonna name them G P Trist Titan. And then we're gonna train them. I mean, yeah, it would be nice, but we need that GP where they are. 
And then we need to set your jobs. Take these out. We still don't have... <laughs> we still don't have another... What you call it? A GP's office. So I think it's time. General practitioner. This has to be a three by three. I think we're going to include that space for no reason. It's going to be a bigger than normal office. All these miscellaneous weird sizes for all these rooms and stuff are really rather annoying. Medicine cabinet. Uh, let's see. Radiator. And coffee maker. Drinking fountain for no reason. Sweet dispenser. Bookcase. Make him look smart. There we go. We're going to pause. Send you home. Pause. Send you home. Oh, I can't send them home because they're in the bathroom. I'd like another one back here. Now, did we treat all those people? I think we did. Oh, they're taking their sweet time over here. So she is just about ready to upgrade. You know, treating a couple people or diagnosing a couple people will really help with that. Let's just double check to make sure we are on the same page there for GPs. And we're going to need a fracture award as well. And those things, ooh, those are beasts. Really? We Did we fail you? Let's just send for treatment. Surgery! Ooh, look at that! We actually have somebody for surgery. Spinal BAP. Uh, it only seems like 30% chance of cure. It's not doing too bad. Hey, we have somebody. Wait, these guys need to get ready for surgery? Oh, yeah, look at that. Fancy. Uh, can we change that outfit? Nope. So, what are the prices on this? We're going to bump that up. So, that is going to be 26 grand. For that surgery. Okay, this, this guy's got to go in and do his thing. Okay, what is he going to be dressed like? Pretty much the same as the ward. What's what's with the uh, the pixelation here? Oh. oh, man. 
Oh, man. That's not good. You don't want one of those in you. And a rubber duck? Good lord. Sewing him up. And it... He failed! <laughs> oh, Lord. I wonder if there's a surgery, too. At least she's got a treatment skill. That's unfortunate. He refused to pay. Unfortunately. All right. So this person is just about ready for level two. Staff training, diagnosis Marius. I can do diagnosis two. Okay, let's let's do a, a round of sending patients home. Okay, you, home, you, oh, come on, get out of the bathroom, home, treatment, fracture ward, sent home, okay, so, sent home, I don't know what was wrong with them, You, let's send you to treatment. You're good to go. Diagnostic certainty, 94%. Ooh, lots of promotions. Uh, ward, GP. We cured the entire group of patients. How about that? And Junior Jan, oh right, we might be able to get this guy, oh, we're still waiting on diagnosis too, okay. But, what is the error here? I'm not sure what that is. Looking for work. Looks like once they're in their surgery garb, that's all she wrote. Okay, so this guy, is he ready? He's ready for training. She's ready for level two training. Fracture ward. Good lord. Send them home. Research complete. All right. Finally, uh, yeah, what was this reporter? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's check out rooms. Head office. There it is. $30,000. Oh, man. <laughs> four by four room. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to need... I'm going to need something here. Two, one, two, three, four. Wow, look at that machine. Wow, this looks frightening. Um. Wow, that was an expensive machine. So let's put an extinguisher by it. And a radiator in here. And uh, maybe a flower to cheer up their day. I don't like how you can't hold down 
Anybody know if there's shortcut keys for that? Let's get it at least level two prestige or level three. Yeah, level three. Turbo plunger. Okay, this requires, I'm gonna guess a doctor. Yep. So, um, staff, jobs. No, GPs don't do it. Researcher doesn't do it. Surgery isn't going to do it. Although they could. They could do it. Just because we need we need them to do something else to get to get experience so they get better at what they're doing. Uh, let's get a radiator out here. Okay. Now, I kind of want to move the door in over here. That would free up a lot of space. So... Yeah, let's leave it. Leave it for now. Oh, we don't have a bathroom over here, I just realized. Uh, rooms. Toilets. Happiness minus eight? What, are you just a nasty person or what? Uh, you, I'm just going to send you home because I don't have a, and I'm going to send you home. Uh, it's too, too late. I can't do it. Take a break. Yeah, I guess once they're in their surgery garb, they don't they don't ever exit. This guy is ready to train up. I can give him some mechanic skill. And I can finally start upgrading some of these things. Although that's not a cheap proposition. Oh, this guy has been in here, which seems like forever. Okay, this thing is done. Let's look at who's out there. Does she have toilet rage? Okay, that's apparently a thing. Oh, finally, training and diagnostics 2 is done. We have a 10-person waiting area out here just for you. And are you, you're a nurse, and you, you can do injections, so you should be able to work on that just fine. So let's see, there's mechanics, pharmacy still isn't in here, which is really weird. Fracture ward, send patient home. Junior nurse, uh, diagnosis. We just we just trained him up, and he's already promoted and ready to go up to diagnostics. You know, three levels. That's pretty good. Somebody just died. Oh, darn it! 
And we just put our... Oh, if this person turns into a ghost... Oh, thank goodness. We got lucky. Because our janitor is in here. Our one janitor is going to be a month inside that training room. We're going to pause it. Patience. Health. Requires surgery in an operating theater. Well, what the heck? Uh, you're in the ward. Uh, your diagnostic certainty is almost there. Surgery again. Uh, we're going to send... We're going to send you home. Is this thing broken? I'm going to need to hire another janitor anyway. Fast learner. So, yeah, they're going to have the ability to upgrade things as well. Really? What? I thought I just got rid of all you guys. Surgery. Can you please wait by a surgery? Would be helpful. Working in surgery. Where's my nurse? Nurse is already there. Appointment surgery. Pipe organs. Ooh, that's another that's another thing we can charge for. Pipe organs. All right, well, that's going to have to do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.